All right, troops, it's your man Chris Scullin from TyrellHack.com with a very quick look at the Atari 2600 uh, retro handheld thingamajig. Um, the full written review can be found on TyrellHack.com, uh, but here is my attempt at just showing you briefly how it looks um, in action. Uh, I currently don't have a tripod, so I'm going to attempt to play this one, <laughs> keeping my camera uh, upright, but um, I'm getting a new tripod tomorrow, so from now on I'll kind of... Hardware reviews will be a lot better than <laughs> this, is a lot more stable. But um, here we go. So, there you go, here's your handheld. Hello, there's my face. Hello, everyone. And that's one of the points to uh, kind of note is that the screen is very reflective. Um, it's a small screen, but it's quite shiny, so you can see quite a lot reflected against it when you play. Um, and there's a the system, which is quite good. The back, I'll turn this around without dropping my phone. There's the back. The problem is, as I mentioned in the review, this is very loose, so even just the slightest tap. And it's up, do you know what I mean? So you can close it, but like a really brief I'm barely even putting any pressure on it here. And it comes it comes loose, so you need to kinda of be careful when you're playing it. Um I don't know if that's the same with all of them, it's just that's certainly the case with mine. So if we pop it on there's your little Atari logo. Bring it in forward a bit. And there you go, there's 50 games in here and they, they kind of range in quality quite drastically. You get stuff like 3D tic-tac-toe, which is kind of pretty throwaway, but then it goes all the way to like stuff like Asteroids, which is a classic, let's face it. Um, and they load okay, the sound emulation's a bit iffy, um, but they run smooth enough, I suppose. Um, there you go. But as you can hopefully see, there's some lag with the sound. Um, which isn't ideal. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. And then to put it off, you can either switch it off and on again or press like and start together. And that brings you back. So yeah, there you go. There's a AV out at the top here. Uh, but you need a special cable for that and it looks like it's composite only. So it's probably going to be uh, just standard uh, resolution. The cable doesn't come with it, so I wasn't able to test that. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Fifty games. None of the kind of. There aren't a lot of classics like Pac-Man and stuff like that. They're all not in it, presumably for right licensing reasons. Uh, these are all mostly the kind of Atari, uh, Atari published games rather than ones by Activision and the like. But there you go. Um, and yeah, a bit of Yars Revenge. There you go. You can't. You get what you get from it. This is. Um, yeah, that's what it is. It's fine. It's um, it's got its drawbacks, most notably the game library and that weird uh, the battery bit at the back. But again, I don't know if that's the case with all of them or just my specific one. But yeah, that's just a quick look at it. Like I say, you can read the full review on tyrellhack.com uh, where I go into a lot more detail. Uh, but thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye bye.